YouTube. Redcoats return here. Well, I'm just uh, adding a section to my collection of tobacco pipes, North American pipes. Um, and as you see, it's a bit of a smaller collection here. And the reason for that is um, that I tend to f smoke filter pipes and um, there's less of an offering, if you like, in North America for um, filtered pipes. Um, if anyone knows of uh, some good artisans who, who make uh, nine millimeter, I'd be interested. Um, but for the sake of completion, um, and uh, being comprehensive, I wanted to just add this quick video on what I have at least. So I'll start with the, my first one that I got, um, which was this little fellow here. And this is a Dr. Grabo, and I was inspired, of course, by matches and, and others who basically told these lovely stories, romantic stories of their first pipe, a Dr. Grabo or a K. Woody or a Medico. Very inexpensive pipes, but sort of, uh, you know, the blue collars, um, drugstore pipe, um, and a, really a piece of American history. So I, I've got to have one, you know. And I went off to their website and looked at this pipe which looked in the website picture about you know that big i thought lovely just what i'm after got the diamond there dr Grabo on the side and when it arrived i realized i should have uh, looked more carefully because it's actually a, a tiny pipe that has a diameter internal of about 17 millimeters maybe it's a good pipe for sort of a 15 minute 20 minute smoke you know and um, it's a good pipe you know if you're trimming the hedge because it's not that heavy and it's actually very nicely made I think you know it's it's nicely set up for a, a six millimeter filter uh, so there are pipes you can get often with six millimeter filter in the US and it's, it's quite nicely Quite nicely done, I think. I'll get a bit more light over here. From my, that's the next investment I'm going to make. I promise you, is some lighting. With the leaf on it and and the stain, it's they're, they're nice, you know. They're nicely done, Doctor Graber. So this is a sort of was the beginning, if you like. And I thought, uh -huh, okay taught me to, to read the dimensions of the pipe in future. But uh, still quite an attractive thing, I think. And from that I learned and looked and found this beautiful freehand Dr. Grabo pipe. Now this is, this is great because I like a big bowl myself, you know. I've found that out, that's one thing I like. And this has a uh, almost 23 millimeter diameter bowl. It almost goes up sort of um, not quite to the second knuckle. You know, there's capacity there, that's nice. And it's nicely done, the uh, rustic engraving, I think, very good. These are actually handmade by Dr. Graber. And I think this is a lovely example uh, with this pickaxe sort of design of one of their larger pipes. I think there's, there's one other one, they call it the big pipe, but I didn't like, I like the design of this one. And this of course is a, a jolly old six millimeter. So now after my research on filters, I'm quite happy with that. This has the original Dr. Grabo filter, but I can put a, a small Gizé uh, short uh, active coal filter in there or, or another one. Um, no problem. So I'm sort of more comfortable with six millimeter filters uh, now with the choices that I have found out about. Um, what with, you can put, of course, uh, a shallow pad or some of those Nording crystals in the bowl, all kinds of ways to, to dry it. So that's no, not, not, not so much of a worry, although I still like nine millimeter, but that's a, that's a rather 
rather lovely pipe, I think, from Dr. Grabo, and I'm very happy to have a piece of American history there. And uh, as I said, I'm, I'm still going to keep researching to find others that I may from time to time acquire in the future. Now, um, I was going to leave cobs out of this story. I've got about 12 cobs, and we all know Missouri Meerschaum, and we know um, Arista Cobb. And um, I even talked about, of course, uh, good old Milan Tobacco and their artist CJ. But I haven't shown this one before, so I'll show it here. Uh, because he did me a, a Christmas pipe that was not quite uh, there for my Christmas uh, pipe video. But CJ painted this lovely Christmas pipe. I'm very happy with this. It is just so wonderful, and I shall be smoking that next Christmas. And again, this is uh, kind of uh, like a country gentleman uh, style, or is it the Colonel? It's six millimeter. I won't bother uh, taking it apart, but um, I love these sort of modified cobs, you know. I mean, really, they are fun. Cobs, I just love them. And talking of which, um, and this is a classic country gentleman from Missouri Meerschaum, which is still, for a sort of un unchanged cob, my my favourite. I love this barrel and this dark stain on it and the smoothness of it. But on this one, what I decided to do is I went to Walker Briar Works. I'll be putting links down as usual and ordered one of their uh, so-called forever stems, which is this beautiful stem here. They're not that cheap, you know, um, uh, these stems. I've got a red one and a, and a blue one like that, but they are just gorgeous. And you can order them to fit, at least from their total diameter, the filter cob, which this was. But of course, they don't, um, they don't actually hold a filter themselves. Although I found, again, from my research on the tiniest paper filters you can get, 3.5 millimeters, that that actually fits inside it. But uh, again, you can put crystals in and things like that to dry your smoke. So that would be a, a solution there. But I think these do look marvelously elegant, don't you think? And they do a lot of colors, not just, of course, red and blue, and they do them straight and bent. Um, I think, what are they? I don't know, they're around the $20 mark or something like that. Um, and then shipping, of course, always to Switzerland is, is a fair amount. But it transforms the uh, pipe into something even a bit more elegant. And uh, I thought, you know, that would be nice to show. And, you know, as I said, I've got about 12 different various cobs, but I think cobs you've seen and seen and seen. But North American nonetheless. Um, I won't talk much about this one. The last two, the best I leave to last, of course, you all know and have seen this in a previous video, the one from Jordan Betcher, the uh, Prairie Pipe Shop which is brilliant. He's done his own video about making that and it's absolutely gorgeous and superb. Look at that grain and look at that stem. Anyway, I've talked about it so I won't go on, but again, from Canada, counts North American. Now, um, this is an important one because this is from Briar Works and Briar Works is one of the fewer uh, makers of pipes that do quite a nice choice of filter pipes and nine millimeter. And hunting around, I didn't find many who really produce nine millimeter. And there was uh, a good deal on smokingpipes.eu, the European end of that organization, for what was it, 94 euro I paid for this. And it's the grain is absolutely magnificent. Look at that. Look at that. And they have a reputation, I think, Briar Works, of doing really nice pipes for affordable prices. And um, 
Uh, thank you, Briar Works, for thinking of people like me who like 9mm. And it's absolutely a gorgeous pipe, worth every penny, of course, at that price for this quality of grain. There's the good old Stanwell in there. And it's a nice pipe. Again, I tend, tend to like nice capacities, almost up to the second knuckle there. It's a, a 21 uh, millimeter diameter bowl and 43 deep, you know. I just, I, I just love pipes with a bit of dimension, bit of capacity. You know why? Because I can tell my wife I'm just gonna have one bowl. <laughs> and if it would be this pipe here, one bowl, well, you know, that would be soon over. But this one, this could take the full hour. A man can take his full measure with a pipe like that. So that's lovely. And it doesn't do, of course, this collection I have here, it doesn't do justice to the great American uh, pipe makers um, in entirety, although I'm very delighted to have these quality ones here. And of course, my classic piece of American history with Dr. Dr. Grabo there and uh, ones which were made beautiful by artisans in the US uh, with that uh, Forever stem and CJ's lovely artwork. So they all belong there in that little collection. Um, and I hope to maybe slowly grow this a little bit as time goes on. Although I have to, must, must say, I get towards the limit of what is half defensible as the number of pipes you should have. I'm way be beyond what uh, most people would think is rational. But you see, they are works of art. These are, um, I've actually written a poem about the briar pipe. I won't do it this time, I'll do it soon. And um, they are just things of great beauty and elegance and, and made by craftsmen. And um, each one has a story and a character and I just love to tell about them. Anyway, that's it, just a short one. Uh, thought I would uh, just update you there. Thanks very much for looking in and uh, never forget, of course, to give me a thumbs up or even a sub if you like my stuff. And uh, you all have a good, good week. Cheers and cheerio.